Scholars, it's Miss Pearson here, and welcome back to Science. Today in Science, we're going to talk about light. So far in our light unit, we've answered a lot of questions, but over the course of this unit, we're going to be answering more questions like, what are sources of light? What are shadows? How does light travel? What happens when I light something? And how do I make something dark? We've answered a bunch of these questions already. Like we've answered, what happens when I light something? Remember that lesson where I shined the flashlight on those objects and you saw that they were became really bright but they also had these big shadows behind them. We've also answered what are sources of light we know that there are two types of sources of light. There's natural light, like the sun, the moon, the stars, and there's artificial light, like street lamps or stadium lights. Those are lights that are made by humans. And last time, we got to answer the question, how does light travel? I saw so many super scientists on their seesaw assignment realize that light travels in a straight line. And so they drew a straight line from the headlights of the car to the tree. So smart. Today, we're going to talk about the question, what happens when I make something dark? Today, scholars, I brought a special friend to come join us. Come on out, Tegan. Hey, everybody. This is Tegan. Show me silent excitement if you know who Tegan is. I bet all the BU scholars are showing some silent excitement. Tegan is one of BU's class mascots. I brought Tegan here today because they need some help. Tegan woke up today super tired because they couldn't get enough sleep last night. They couldn't get enough sleep last night because the room was way too light and had way too bright. There was way too much light getting in. Touch your nose if you can't sleep when there's light on in your room. I'm touching my nose because I need it to be totally dark when I try to go to sleep. So, Tegan woke up this morning and was like, Miss Pearson, you have to ask your super scientist to help me out and help me figure out how to make my room totally dark so I can get some sleep. And I said, Tegan, I bet those super scientists can help you out. So we need your help. Let's think about it. How can we make a room totally dark? How can we get rid of any of the light in the room? What do you think we can do? I'm hearing some scholars say, turn off the lights. Well, I do have a light here in my room, so I'm gonna turn it off. And let's see if it's totally pitch black in the room and you can't see us anymore. Let's see what happens. Is it totally pitch dark in the room? No, you can still see us. Oh man, that means there's still light in the room. Hmm. What if we close the blinds? Maybe that will get rid of all that natural light like the sun and the moon and the stars. I'm gonna go make sure my blinds are closed. Let's see, are my blinds closed? Oh, they're closed, but it looks like some natural light is still getting in. Man, what are we going to do? How can we get rid of all the light? Hmm. I know, I'm gonna make a room for Tegan. That won't have any light come through. Here, I'll turn lights and I'm gonna get some materials to make my room for Tegan. If the room is totally dark, then Tegan will be able to tell us and see if it worked. 
Let's see, what do I have? I found this box! That looks like this. I'm gonna put Tegan in here, and they'll tell us if it's totally dark. Here we go, I'm putting Tegan inside our box. Tegan, you tell us if it's totally dark. Tegan, it's a totally dark? No, it's not totally dark. Oh, man. Friends, look at this box. Why do you think that it's not totally dark? What was that, Tegan? It has holes in it. This box has a bunch of holes in it, so of course all the light is getting through the holes. Miss Pearson is so silly. Let's see if there's something else I can put Tegan in. <gasps> Look at this! I found a bag! I'm gonna put Tegan in the bag. Is it totally dark, Tegan? No, it's not totally dark. I'm so silly. When the top is open on the bag, then all the light gets in from the top. So of course it's not totally dark. Man, I'm stumped. I need those super smart Brooke scientists to help me figure this one out. Get some materials around your house. Maybe get a bag or some blankets or a box. See if you can make a room for Tegan that's totally dark where there's no light getting in. Once you figure that out, head to Seesaw. And on Seesaw, when you open up your activity, I want you to click on the camera to take a picture of the room you made. And then press the microphone and record yourself talking about how you know there will be no light in your room and how you know Tegan will be able to get a good night's sleep. I can't wait to see what ideas you come up with because me and Tegan really need your help. Good luck, scholars. I'll talk to you soon.